I was approached at the time of about a uh, like a an accessible, uh, basically a wheelchair merry-go-round is what they called it. And I and I said, well, I can I can look look into it. Um, and we in and, and, and Play World and and uh, looked into it. That's our the, one of the manufacturers we represent. And anyway, the uh, long story short, they came up with a, an accessible merry-go-round. It was kind of uh, um, they they had been around, uh, but there was not one in Michigan yet. Uh, to my knowledge, and it was kind of like the first one. So anyway, we got the project and we installed it. It was before it actually be, it was considered a custom product at that point. And now it's basically in the catalog. Um, but I think, I think that, you know, I, I've seen thousands and thousands of kids. I've literally been involved in, I don't three to 4,000 playgrounds probably in my, in my career, maybe a little bit more. Um, and I always see the kids' reactions, um, and it's a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, a lot of running around, giddy, that kind of thing. But one of the ones that really, really kind of uh, shook me down, you know, to, to, to my soul, if you will, was when I watched a 50-year-old guy on a mobilized wheelchair get on that merry-go-round and go for the first spin and, and actually realizing that man had never had that sensation until he was 50 and to see that expression on his face it really uh boy it really impacted me and it's like this is this is why i want to do what i do because it, it, it's making a difference you know uh on a on a, a community level but also on a personal level 